We're staying in the 04 underscore viewports.dwg file, as usual, and you'll be following along with your saved version of that drawing to follow along with the video. Now, in the previous video, what we did in the Stair A Layout tab was create a polygonal viewport in an irregular space, this one here. So I'm in the Stair A Layout tab, but bear in mind I'm still in the Layout tab on the ribbon to work with my layout viewports. So what we can do is we can actually place a physical object that then allows us to create a different shape viewport. We can clip the polygonal viewport to a different shape viewport. It's very clever and it's very quick and easy to do as well. First things first, zoom in a little bit on this area of the drawing here and just pan up a bit so that you've got a bit more clarity of where you're going to place the clipping object. Now the clipping object is going to be a rectangle. Now it's always a good idea to make sure that it's on the same layer as your viewport because the clipping object will become the viewport itself. Now what I'm going to do is go up to the home tab on the ribbon, go into the draw panel and click here and select rectangle. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick a point there, click, drag, I'll get those dimensions in on the right there and click again. So there's my rectangle. So if I hover over that, it's a polyline. If I hover over that, it's a polyline as well. Now, that's the weird thing. That is a viewport. That is also just a polyline. Now, the trick is with this is that they are different objects in definition, but when they're drawn, they are similar objects. It's a bit weird how it works, but that's how it works in AutoCAD. So your viewports are polylines but they are creating a view from one of the layout tabs into the model tab. So because I'm in a layout tab, stair A, I've got my contextual layout tab on the ribbon. So I go back there. I now go to layout viewports and select clip like so. I come into the drawing area and on the dynamic input there, can you see on the little pick box, it's saying select viewport to clip. It's also got that down on the command line. I'm going to select my polygonal viewport with the pick box and left click on it. And now it prompts me to select the clipping object. Now you'll notice there it can be polygonal or I can delete the object as well. So I can delete the original object as well. That normally happens by default anyway. So I'm going to select my clipping object, which is going to be my rectangle, which is not a viewport at the moment. However, as soon as I click on it, it becomes the viewport. And if I double click inside it, you'll see that that is now a viewport and you'll notice I can pan and zoom accordingly and fit what I want inside that new rectangular viewport. And as usual, double click outside the drawing area in the layout tab to deactivate your viewport. So that's how you can clip an existing viewport using regular AutoCAD objects to create different shape viewports in your layout tabs.